vitamin D that we think about. Once again, liver. It is so difficult for us to classify the liver. We know it's involved with at least five hormones. That's what we know at this point in time. The cholecalciferol and the calcidiol, angiotensin, which like I said, we're going to get to more in the respiratory and the kidneys, but we're going to see it play a part in blood pressure. Erythropoietin, which stimulates red blood cell production. Hepcidin, which helps with iron absorption. And it's the source of those insulin-like growth factors that are going to help control the action of growth hormone. That's what we know at this point in time. Who knows what else the liver's going to do? <coughs> The kidneys. The kidneys are going to be important in, um, well, of course, we're going to talk about those when we get to the urinary system. We know at least three hormones from the kidneys convert calcidiol to calcitriol, the active form of vitamin D. So that we can increase calcium absorption from the intestines because we take it in from our foodstuffs and don't lose it through the urine. <coughs> renin, part of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Once again, going to come back to us when we talk about the respiratory system and the kidneys. Erythropoietin for stimulating blood cell production. The heart secretes hormones. The tissues, the muscles of our atria give us natriuretic peptides. Peptides are just simply amino acids strung together. Okay? <clears throat> Their job, respond when blood pressure goes up. Therefore, if blood pressure goes up, I need to decrease blood volume, and I do the decrease of the blood pressure by increasing sodium and water output, and I'll lower my blood pressure. The stomach and the small intestines have at least 10 enteric hormones, meaning they stay directly within the digestive system. At least 10. PYY, cholecystokinin, gastrin, ghrelin. Their job help with digestion. All of these were talked about in uh, chapter 26. Adipose tissue, osseous tissue, the placenta, leptin. I don't get enough of that. Close the appetite. Osseous tissue gives us osteocalcin. Gets an effect with the pancreas, insulin, body tissues. We're going to see that it comes with the onset of type 2 diabetes. Placenta, estrogen, progesterone, some other hormones. This helps regulate the pregnancy while the fetus is in utero, stimulate development of the fetus, and stimulate development of the mammary gland.
says a lot that the body's doing. Pretty much everything. We'll stop right there. We'll pick up right here on Tuesday.